Hey guys, welcome in a new week and uh, I'm pretty happy to tell you that I spent a week in London. We went to a bunch of innovative companies over here, so it was a lot of fun. But in this video, I want to talk to you about what happened in the tech, marketing and customer experience scene in the world this week. Let's dive into the action, my friends. First thing I saw this week was in Australia, where the postal service started out with uh, drone delivery. Um, this is not Amazon that's doing this, this is a traditional postal company and they're, they, they, they did the first test which went really well and the products that they deliver are for instance uh, medication and other things that have an urgent delivery time. There's a lot of news this week. Uh, one of the messages that really got my attention is that the Dutch government is about to announce that they no longer allow people to buy petrol cars by the year of 2025. So you would be allowed to keep your regular car, but if you want to buy a new one in 2025, it has to be an electric vehicle, soon in the Netherlands. There's a new big battle coming up. Um, Amazon launched a video service, a streaming service with a monthly subscription, which is exactly what Netflix is doing. So we're gonna see a head-to-head -head battle between Amazon and Netflix in the coming years. And that will be very interesting to see how that will evolve. Facebook is actually considering to allow people to give a tip to people who post a fantastic post or for someone who did something great and posts it on Facebook, you can maybe in the future give them a small tip to make some extra money. Fun move. Fantastic story of Canoe, which is building a kit where kids can build their own computer. And this is one of those new trends that you see companies popping up everywhere, making development kits that children actually can become programmers and engineers from an early age on and I, I love that and this is not about what happened this week but I just want to share this this week we were at a, a company here in London it's called Sam Labs and I just had to buy a bunch of their sensors to play with my seven-year-old son and it's really cool to see look th this is like the boxes with with sensors and I I got plenty of them and it's just cool to see how it's like a Lego kit that allows you to actually uh, built IoT applications and Canoe is something that came out this week. Uh, Sam Labs is something that started out two years ago, but they're fantastic initiatives. Just look around the world and, and look for them and, and let's support those initiatives. They're really great. There's a new trend in the US apparently that people are abandoning their wired internet in their homes and much more American families are choosing for a data mobile only subscription. If that trend would continue, it would completely change the way that we interact with the web and it would be a huge change for telco companies as well. Magic Leap is one of the hottest startups in the world. They raised more than uh, $750 million last year. Uh, we still don't really know what they're going to do, but they gave us another demo that they released. And it looks like they're going to make a Google Glass, but then the advanced version. They don't believe in um, virtual reality, they believe in mixed reality. They want you to play games with it. They want you to interact with the real world. We don't really know what it's gonna be like, but the entire world is really waiting to see a product of them. I hope it's gonna be there really soon. Some interesting things happened in the car industry, like uh, Apple hired one of the top executives of Tesla. Uh, but at the same time, uh, apparently there were talks going on between Apple and BMW and Mercedes-Benz about building the iCar. And apparently BMW and Mercedes-Benz backed out. So it's a question what will happen to the Apple car in the near future. So guys, this was Steven's week. Uh, a lot of news happened. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're gonna have a fine weekend. I had a fantastic week here in London and I'm looking forward to see my family back this weekend. Bye-bye.